Two of our favorite things here at Iconic are unloading containers and test rides. And hopefully, if we're lucky, today we'll get to do both. I'm standing on a container that was sent to us from Japan from our buddy Graham Crump Trading, GJC Trading. And uh, the team's already busy unloading it. This is going to be a very good day. We've got all kinds of small bikes, all kinds of big bikes. Everything is fun and what we call iconic here. Let's take a look. I think it took us about, let's say, two hours, uh, an hour and a half or so, which is pretty good. It means the guy that packed it up did a really good job. His name is Graham Crump. It was a company called GJC Trading, and uh, Graham helps us a lot when we're looking to source cool bikes from Japan. Uh, some of those cool bikes, we had to move inside already because of rain, but I wanted to show you a few of my highlights, starting with these two motocopos. We actually have six motocopos in this container. This one here is uh, basically a zero mile uh, new old stock one. And it comes with something that we, as in Adam and I, have never seen before, which is the original cover. Uh, this is very hard to find and very, very cool. I think if you probably follow Iconic, you already know that this thing folds, goes in, and used to go in the trunk of a car, but they made an NOS cover for this thing to put on <laughs> for just like, you know, when, when you just dust cover protector kind of thing, little handles. So this is incredibly, incredibly hard to find. And we're really excited that one of the bikes will come with that. Uh, speaking of small little Hondas, here we have a gold limited edition, a monkey. We actually just sold the 1996 version of this. 
on the auction site. This was the first time they did an all gold limited edition from 1984. You can tell the differences in the, uh, the tank as well as, Anthony, if you'll do me a favor, this sweet model specific seat here, Honda limited edition. Other stuff, let's see here. Two Malaguti Phantom 50cc scooters. Malaguti is an Italian company and they had a digital, they had a licensing deal with Ducati so, so that they could kind of make them look like pit bikes. That one's more stock. This one looks really gnarly. It's got these chunky off-road tires on it. Uh, I mean, I don't know why, but it's pretty cool. So we'll see what the next owner wants to do with that. Continuing on, Gray is taking photos of these new entries as we go. You know what? I just got to, let's do a little walk down murderer's row here. <laughs> YSR, it's a 50 or an 80. That's an 80. It's got a tack. It's in that French Galois paint scheme that uh, Yamaha used in their uh, GP bikes in the 80s. But here you go. Moto Compo. Moto Compo. Paid him to look like a Caterpillar truck, I guess. Another Moto Compo. Another Moto Compo. And another Moto Compo. This one, complete with a basket to be extra cute. Another, I mean, there's so many good small bikes here. Uh, another Gold Monkey, that's the newer version, not the 84, the uh, 96 or so. A Kawasaki KSR 80, these are really hard to find in the US. And a Yamaha TDR, either 50 or 80, I'm gonna have to double check, but these things are really cool, just baby versions of those TDR 250s that we love here at Iconic. Conveniently, I'm, I'm hoping someone did this intentionally, there's the big brother right there, a Yamaha TDR 250. All right, let's go outside and see some more stuff. Oh, so in addition, by the way, YSR 80, YSR 80, those you get in the US every once, like you get the YSR 50s in the US every once in a while. Something that was never sold in the US is the successor to that bike, the Yamaha TZM 50R. Uh, this was basically that same motor, but in a much better frame with upgraded suspension and things like that. It is just, it's a better version of the YSR. It's more rare. This one has just 420 kilometers on the odometer, but we'll go through it, make sure it's a runner and uh, it's just a really, really cool pocket bike. We'll go, here we go, let's go outside. Say hi to Cannon. Say hi to Adam. Hello. What's up, boys? Adam was just taking photos of possibly the best mini bike of them all that we got, a Honda NSR 50. These little pocket two-stroke, uh, and they're arguably in pretty much every way better dynamically than the YSR 50s that we know and love here. Uh, one cool thing about the one that Adam found is if you look back here, it has the street lead, like the optional kit for brake light and turn signals. So in some states, that will actually be street legal. Sadly, not our home state of California. Uh, like I said, Gray's over there taking photos. One of the nice things that about, as I point out the uh, bikes in this video, if you're one of our members on the Iconic website, you have access to a page we call Coming Soon, and you can see all these bikes in advance, some photos of them, a little bit of information of them, and you can try to make an offer or snag one before it goes up, to, uh, goes up for auction. So that's always a nice thing we like to offer for the, for the members. Uh, so great shooting a gold monkey, but let's just wrap things up here looking at some of the bigger bikes that came from Japan. Uh, Suzuki Jigsaw RK, that's a legend. One of the very few times that Suzuki made a homologation version of that Jigsaw platform. We actually have another one, of course. Uh, some MV Agustas, the new uh, V2 Panigale Troy Bayless limited edition. Adam is kind of savvy, or I guess he's uh, fond of these as he's Australian. So there's a lot of cool things about this bike. Obviously the paint job, the references to Troy, signatures, things like that. But we kind of think they screwed up because there's no Australian flag on it like they had with the old Bayless editions. So, hi Mark. Mark's unloading, or finishing unloading the container. One of the things when you unload these containers, it's really nice when they bring it to us so that we can just take the bikes out and they go, but you have to make sure that you completely empty it. So all the wood that was used and any of the hardware that was used to keep things secure, we gotta make sure they're all emptied before it gets dropped off. Uh, Jigsaw 750, it's probably an 86, maybe an 87. Yoshimura exhaust, Cyclone exhaust, Yoshimura decal up front. That'll be a cool one. The other RK I was referring to, it's kind of crazy that I can just casually move past an RK. That's, that's such an iconic thing to do. But that's the second one we have. A couple of Paul Smarts. These are pretty cool. But yeah, we've been on a little bit of a tear with Paul Smarts. There's actually one that's ending on the auction site today. Uh, kind of a fun thing, being Japanese imports, they're a little bit different. You get dashes and kilometers. And a lot of the little stickers, like your warning stickers here on the tank, are in Japanese. So that's just kind of a cool, a cool touch for that. Even more MV Agusta F4s. Uh, the newer models have this really, Adam had to point this out to me. I didn't realize, I just thought it was 
they have this new headlight design compared to the original generation. And uh, the last two, first gen Yamaha R1, uh, you're probably familiar with this, but I always love that the YZF logo was done to look like Japanese kanji here in a tribute to their home country. So that's always a fun little, little touch. And then lastly, a Honda NS400R. Sometimes you see them with the Rothmans livery, sometimes you see them in this livery, and uh, it just rounds out a really, really cool container load. I think we got something like 30, 35 bikes, and uh, that's what we got. So if any of those appeal to you, you can leave a comment down below. It's probably best to email us. Uh, you can reach me at abhi, A-B-H-I, at iconicmotorbikes.com, or adam, Adam T at iconicmotorbikes.com. And then one last peek in here before we close it, please. And that's how you empty a container in two hours. Nice job. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one.